So, Chris Colbert gets knocked out cold, man. Brutally put to sleep by Jose Valenzuela Saturday night. Uh, a lot of people believe that this is the end of Chris Colbert. Like, you know, he's never going to be a, a world champion, man. And you know what, man? I, I wouldn't say it's the end of his boxing career, but I don't think he has the skill set and the mentality to be a world champion unless he becomes a world champion the way Roley did and he gets gifted a belt. I, I can't see him being on top, man. Um, I don't think he got what it takes. He don't have the discipline. He's arguing in the corner with his he arguing with his corner man. That ain't good, bro. Yeah, it's not good. When you don't listen to your corner, you gonna get bust so far. Just like Ryan Garcia, he may never be a champion because he don't follow instructions. He think he can do his own thing. Derrick James just showed that. He can't win like that. And I think uh Chris Colbert, when he first came out, you know, he you know, he was one of these dudes that everybody was toting as Yo, he's next up, you know, B, little B-hop and all this other stuff, prime time, you know what I mean? And, you know, coming out with the gimmicks and all of that, just like fucking Montana Love, bro. These, yo, Floyd rubbed off on a lot of these dudes. These dudes want to come out with, with dogs and, bro, your career ain't that established yet to be coming out with all that crazy shit. This is for Montana Love. You ain't Floyd Mayweather. They, you know what I'm saying? Man, this dude Floyd left a big impact on boxing, bro. You got dudes that ain't at the caliber of Floyd thinking they Floyd. That shit crazy. Floyd is like the, it's just like Band-Aid brand, bro. Like, you know, like every band, every, every band that you see, everybody call it a Band-Aid. But it's really just a brand called Band-Aid that is a brand of bandages. Floyd is like that with boxing, bro. Like, like everything he did rubbed off and everybody wanted to be him, bro. And they and they and they got to start realizing you can't be Floyd. You got to walk your own path, man. And Chris Colbert, he seemed you know he seemed like he had a good skill set early on. I guess at 126, and you know he did good down there. He, he do better at 126, 130. I'm not too sure why the hell he fought Ryo at 135, bro. Where did that even come from? I'm trying to figure out where that came from, bro. He was already at 130. Where'd they get Chris Colbert from to fight Rayo? I, I just don't understand what that was about. They trying to cash him out or end his career, level him out. I don't know. But sad to say, um, I don't I don't see him being the world champion, man. His career is... I, I'm, I'm not going to say it's done. There's still fights for him out there. But I think his career is limited, though. Absolutely. Um, you, it's hard to bounce back from shit like that, man, sometimes, man. Uh... I mean, get knocked out, you can bounce back from shit like that, but it's not even just about that. It's about he talk a lot of trash and then he'll never show and prove. You can't talk trash and then don't get busy in the ring. It's one thing if you talk trash, you go in there, you fight, you give it your all, get knocked out, you can bounce back from that. But you can't bounce back when you're talking stuff constantly, but then when you get in the ring, you get spanked and you're not throwing no punches or not, you're not trying to let your hands go. You, no, man, nobody gonna want to see you no more. And that's what I mean by limited. His career is going to be limited, bro. He's going to be limited to, like, lower-ranked fighters. He might even become a gatekeeper at 130 pounds or even at 126, man. Man, that's why when you move up, you got to know what you're doing, bro. If you ain't got the skill, you got to know what you're doing because you, yo, your shit can get in real quick. If you ain't got the skills, your shit going to get in real quick. You gonna, they going to live. Your career going to be limited. Your stock going to drop. And I think that's what happened with Chris Colbert, bro. Just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm out.